you all can see the marks I've made on these. This is approximately halfway. I just kind of eyeball it and as I cut these, I'm going to alternate cutting between the two and when I get it close, I'll hold them together and I'll hold it up against a full size dowel, an uncut dowel, to make sure I end up with the same size. And determine which side you think is going to be the strongest, folks, and make sure that the opposite side is down. Take a very small bite in here or it'll just chip and shatter. And if that happens, you'll be buying a new dowel. So I got them both turned down right here. And when I hold them together, I can see that one's still just a little bit big. So what I'll do is I'll check them each half to determine which one's bigger. And it looks like the second one's bigger. So this one needs to be run through again. Now folks, as that bite gets wider, you either want to change your depth to a shallower depth on your planer, or you want to slow your push down. Otherwise it can chip out. As you're bringing that through, you get up on that blade, don't hold your finger like that. Use a push stick or do like I did, move your finger up forward. Right at a perfect inch and a quarter, folks. That's just what we want. All right, y'all, my next issue is the blade compared to the wood. The blade is almost exactly as wide as the wood is. So you see the line that I've got right here on the blade? I'm gonna have to remove this steel all the way down. All right, and the first thing I need to do, folks, this is just take it apart to pull these screws out of it. My last one wasn't welded together. So I've got a little weld in here. I'm going to have to very carefully cut this loose. I'm also going to have to cut this piece off too, folks. And I'm hoping to integrate that piece later on. Hell, that weren't bad. I should probably put this on my bench vise, folks, but I'm going to try to use a belt sander right here for now, see if it works. This is going to be slow, but it'll work. So I'm going to sit here and grind away. This grinder is working much, much better, folks. So I took it down on my black line. My spacing's still not quite what I want, so I'm going to work it down just a little bit more. Take just a touch more off. I don't want a wavy blade along the edge from this hand grinder, so now I am going to finish it up. I'm going to take that blue line off, just using the belt sander. And I'm not going to sharpen this blade until the project is finished. All right, with that straightening step finished, I'm going to check that on something I know is flat, and that looks real good, folks. That looks real good. I got a good straight edge on it.